It's a mold. Don't cancel me. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing yet another gummy worm feeding video or a hornworm feeding video. We don't need to talk too much. There's nothing to explain. Why am I still talking? So it is raining like crazy outside. I hope you guys do not mind, but I actually like the sound of rain. So I thought, why not just film anyway? So this is my adult female M Robustum and I've yet to really get a good shot of her, but I thought maybe today we'll get lucky since we have all of these big hornworms. Oh, she's like all the way back there. How do we even like get her attention? I don't even know. All right, so I don't think we're gonna get her to come out, but of course I just wanted to try. Maybe one day we will. So this is my Avicularia Avicularia, and we are going to try to feed her a nice big worm. Oh, what do you think of that? You're not gonna take it? Why not? Oh, I really thought she would take it. Nobody wants to eat this worm today. Nobody wants to eat this worm today. But I do know one tarantula that will for sure eat this worm. A lot of you guys love my Nandu Trapepi and we are going to feed it to her. There we go. Finally. I think we should probably start every feeding video off with her because she will always eat no matter what. Okay, so this is somebody you guys have not seen for a while, but it is now a confirmed female, Pamphibedius species Machala. This girl is getting huge. She was a teeny tiny sling when I got her, if you guys even remember that, about two years ago. So I want to feed her and hopefully get her to come out so you can see how pretty she's gotten. Now she knows it's there. I don't think I've given her a hornworm before. I think this is her first time. So I'm not really sure how she'll react because usually she eats right away. But right now she's not so sure about it. There we go. Yes. Awesome, I'm so glad she took it. I wish we got a better shot of her though because she is these beautiful purple colors now and I just can't believe how gorgeous she looks. At least we got her to eat on camera. Let's feed another one that you guys don't see very often. This is my Saracopelma rubronitans, and I've also had this one since it was a teeny tiny sling. I don't think I've ever fed it a hornworm so this will be its first time if it takes it. Whoa, that was really cool. She actually took it without even second guessing herself, which I kind of expected from her. I love her movements, how they're so quick, but also then they she just like stops. It's like red light, green light. Yeah, but that's perfect. I'm so glad she took it. So I just noticed my sea sandiri came out, which I think means it's hungry. So let's go ahead and try with her next. No, no, no. Opening the lid is so, there we go, okay. So she went in her hide, but that's okay because we are going to offer her a hornworm and I think she'll come out for one. She usually does. Yeah, she's noticing it for sure. Yeah. You know what that is, don't you? And I wonder if that's a new molt or an old molt. She doesn't look like she recently molted, so I wonder if she just had it hidden away in her burrow. Take it, take it, take it. That was kind of weird. She just like bit it and then walked away. That's really weird because usually she's like all about the worms. So, oh, okay. So she doesn't want me to take it, but she doesn't want to eat it or does she? All right, I'm just gonna leave this one in here and I think she'll take it. Uh, she's just doing that thing she does where she's confused and stuff like that, so. Okay, so this is my Ceratogyrus marshali and hopefully she won't let us down. Usually doesn't, so. Oh, what do you think? She's actually looking a little plump. <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh, it's squirty. It's squirty. Gross. She loves hornworms. So yeah, I think she's pretty happy and we can go ahead and move on to my Ceratogyrus 
Darlingy. Okay, so I see her butt right here and normally she backs out and takes food when I offer it to her. So I'm hoping that will be the same kind of thing here. Let's try this one. Yeah, she's definitely interested. Mm. Oh, she bit it and ran. Is that like a thing we're doing today, you guys? Part of me thinks that their tactic to take down a larger prey item is to bite it and then come back and get it later. So I'm kind of wondering if that's what she's doing. Because this one over here, my CC and Deary, is still thinking about it. Definitely interested and I think is going in for the kill here in a moment. Actually, looks like that's about to go down. Yep. Well, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's up with them today. And we have my Afonal Pelma Hensi, and I don't think she's ever had a hornworm, but I do have a small one right back here for her that I wanted to try offering. Ooh, she's throat posing it. Ew! <laughs> Yeah, Hensi are a little spicy sometimes. My girl's always been crazy, so hopefully she'll take it. This is also her first time um, ever seeing a hornworm, so I'm not really surprised by the reaction. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, so I don't know when she's gonna take it, but I'm gonna put the lid on and hope that she takes it eventually. <laughs> eventually. So it actually looks like my Afono Pelma Hensi is eating her first ever hornworm. So yay, congrats to her. Hope you like it. I see this girl out wandering around, so I kind of feel like she'll take a worm eventually. So let's go ahead and just try, I guess. There we go. Right? Wrong? Maybe? No? Today is just bite the worm and leave it alone day, I guess. I don't even know what to do with this worm. Nobody wants it. <laughs> Nobody wants it. All right, so I am going to feed my Afonopelma Samani male. See, why can't they all just act like him and just take down food I give them? Like, everybody else is so ungrateful. Little bit of a struggle, but he's got it. My other female Phonopelma Samani. Very cool. That was a great shot too. I'm glad she is coming out. We don't really see her very much. And hopefully she will be paired with the male you guys just saw. I think that her and my male will make really pretty babies because when they molt, they both are like super blue. Now my sea darling is out here sitting here like, where's my worm? I took it because you didn't eat it. Like, what do you want? <laughs> Actually, I didn't take her worm. She's just eating it now. <laughs> I thought I took the worm out. I took it out for the CC and Deary, but I didn't take it out for the Darlingy. So yeah, there she is. She got it. All right, so we are now going to try to feed my mature male, Grandma Stola Polker Peas. And he is still not really wanting to eat. I really want him to. Yay! <laughs> I'm so glad. Yeah, so he's really hard to get to eat lately and I think he's kind of on his way out. But remember, we did breed him with Pikachu, so I'm hoping that we see something from her. But Grandma Stola will take forever to do everything, so it's probably still going to be months and months away before we know if the pairing was successful. And yeah, so for this last feeding, I'm not sure if we'll get her to come out, but we are going to try to feed my A as a Demi female. So I do see her down there, but she's acting afraid. Although I did catch her out the other night and I think she was looking for food, so she's probably hungry. Probably just gonna poke that in and see if she takes it. Kind of have a feeling though, we're not going to see her take it regardless. So I guess we will just leave it at that. Then again, I don't really wanna leave the video on a bad note so maybe I'll get one more tarantula that I think is going to eat for us today. Okay so we have my E. Muranus and if you remember I think it was the last feeding video or maybe it was my watering video. Yeah it was my 
quarantine vlog when I watered everybody, I actually removed all of this webbing because it was just dirty and it looked terrible. And as you see, she's already started to reweb everything, which is awesome. She looks kind of plump, but that usually doesn't stop her from eating. So we'll see if it does today. She could be in pre molt but I don't know. Oh, it's your favorite snacky snack. All right, so I don't think she's going to take it. So I'm just trying to get it without ruining her freaking home. And I have an idea. With the ones that did not get fed off, I actually wanted to do a little bit of an experiment and see if we can get them to turn into moths. So there are three here that are alive and look relatively good. And so hopefully we can get some moths. And I was thinking we could possibly try doing a feeding video where I feed my piece Letheria. I have two, some of these moths, because if you didn't know, when they turn into moths, you can actually use them as feeders, especially for arboreal tarantulas. They really like to kind of yank them out of the air and eat them. So hopefully we can get some cocoons going. I think they'll burrow down to the bottom and turn into cocoons. That one doesn't look like it's doing so hot, but I mean, it's still alive. So I don't know, hopefully. So yeah, these are the uh, survivors for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like this video if you did. Subscribe if you're not. And you want to be. Don't forget that I have an Instagram that I use probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon, a Teespring, and there's a podcast. It's all linked down below. Go check it out. And I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching.